I wanna try something. I'm just gonna go kind of coffee shop mode, selfie, and talk to you about staying fit during medical school or really any period of life where you are more busy to achieve a goal than your baseline health and happiness. So to stay fit in med school, uh, number one is you need to work out efficiently and consistently. So much, much better to work out five to six days a week and not go for that long. You know, that can be anywhere, honestly, in the 10 to 60 minute range than to do one big workout, you know, one day a week or, you know, let that slide, two weeks go by, three weeks go by. So work out efficiently. Um, you know, some of y'all see something like P90X. I'm gonna get in shape, <laughs> not in med school. Uh, you don't have 90 minutes a day, six days a week. Uh, CrossFit's the same. By the time you go to a gym, actually do the full workout with the warm up and the cool down, you're probably looking at 90 minutes and that's gonna be five, six days a week you don't have that time during med school. So both those are great workouts, but not for you, not right now. What you need to do is train in a total body mix between lifting and cardio manner. And your total body workouts can get done about 45 minutes. You're gonna pick one big multi-joint exercise per body part. What that would look like coming through for your back, your biceps, you can knock out some chin-ups. For your chest, shoulders, triceps, you're gonna do a bench press, emphasize your shoulders and traps, something like a military press get some sort of ab exercise in like a crunch, lower body, deadlifts, squats, lunges. What I'm talking about, again, are big multi-joint exercises. Unless you are getting on stage, isolation exercises like concentration curl are pretty much a waste of time, and that's <laughs> med school or life. Um, for the next med school residency, you're looking, <laughs> yeah, seven to nine years you are putting in the work. You do not have time to be wasting. Um, for your cardio, that can also get done quick, though I am a fan of a very low intensity AM walk first thing in the morning to kind of clear your head, you know, anywhere from the 20 to 40 minute range. Um, if you really want to get after it, really get it done, just increase the intensity of your cardio. One of my favorite ways to do that are sprint workouts. Literally go to a track uh, after a quick warm up, like a 400 meter jog, do eight to 10 rounds of a 100 meter all out sprint and then just use the walk back up to the starting line to rest, you're gonna have your workout done in 15 minutes. Uh, getting on a treadmill, you can do the same thing. I use kind of an intensity ladder. Uh, this one I actually got from the book Body of Life a long time ago, but favorite treadmill workout of all time, it breaks it up so it's not so monotonous and kicks you back and forth in different levels of intensity. So you tap into glycogen, increase your basal metabolic rate throughout the day. Um, what you'll do is warm up a little bit and then just do a intensity ladder of six, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then a minute cool down. Use speed to adjust your intensity. So for me, that looks like a level six intensity is about seven miles an hour. Um, but some of you are faster, some of you are slower, just kind of adjust to what you need to. Uh, I'll generally jump one mile an hour per level of intensity. So you're gonna have that down to where you're doing, you're doing this total body lift, non-consecutive days, about two days a week. So that could be a Monday and a Thursday doing some cardio at least two days a week, um, gentle stretching or a walk on another day, literally going for six to seven days total of some sort of activity. It is much, much easier to maintain fitness and maintain a habit of fitness than to you know, kind of go through med school, get the degree you want, but you're all out of shape, you're healthy, uh, <laughs> unhealthy. And um, then you gotta put that time into getting back into it. So just stay fit, stay healthy much easier and you'll be happier throughout the process. Talking a little bit about diet, uh, you need to be efficient with that as well. Um, small pet peeve of mine, how often people go out to eat. To me, it kind of seems like a waste of time, money, and calories. Um, I will go out to eat, but that's more of a specific kind of special setting to actually interact with a person. And that means having your phone off, off the table, things like that, real human connection. But for the most part, you're busy, you just wanna get the nutrients in. So learn to snack well. An example of a small healthy snack, one that I used all throughout school, uh, undergrad and med school, would be a cottage cheese container, and then I just put dry old fashioned oats in it, uh, some almonds, and then a scoop of vanilla protein powder, which is kinda of like milk. Um, then whenever you're hungry, you just run it under the drinking fountain, put it in your bag dry so it doesn't get everywhere, but then you run it under the drink fountain, stir it up, and you got a total balanced meal, it'll fill you up, get you going. Um, one method you might try, would be intermittent fasting as it saves a lot of time. So that's where you eat all your food within an eight or a 12 hour window. So that would be, you only eat from say noon to 8 p.m. or 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. 
um, throughout the day. That'll save you a lot of time. It also has less time to when your body is having to process calories. Definitely beneficial for longevity. Works for a lot of people weight loss, even for mass gain, which is a little bit weird, but it tends to work. Uh, Hugh Jackman did it for Wolverine. Just to let you know, <laughs> kind of a kind of a big deal. Ah, uh, anyway. But I would recommend against that strongly on test days. <laughs> it turns out in medicine, the numbers matter. So if you're going in for a test, eat a small healthy meal, you know, an hour or so before you go in to take that. And it needs to be balanced, protein, carb, fat, um, you know, banana, some coconut fat, protein powder, eggs, just normal, good food so that you got energy to think. More important than your fitness, what you look like during this little period of life. Um, I'm not going to go into a ton of specific recipes and whatnot, uh, mainly because <laughs> y'all in medicine, you're smart, you'll figure it out. Concept, protein, carb, fat. The third thing I want to talk about is how to mix in socializing intelligently to not derail your fitness or ruin your whole next day of studying. Um, you know, everyone's got different views on alcohol. It tends to be a vice I kind of enjoy, uh, leads to social bonding in moderation, actually good for you. Not in moderation, has its dangers, but can be fun. Um, but treat it like a carbohydrate, basically. Alcohol is seven calories per gram, so just use it as an energy source. On nights I'm gonna go out drinking, I keep my meal fairly light. One, if I'm full, if I eat a big meal, it's just hard to get that good feel from alcohol. It takes too long, it's more expensive, and then you wind up basically kind of coming home and then it sets in and then you're just, eh, not a good situation. So eat light and then also skip your carbs in that meal. So that means, you know, eat a protein source, eat a fat source, you could eat, Three scrambled eggs, no cereal, no banana, no potatoes, no carb source, and then use the alcohol for the carb. Uh, when you do go out to drink, be wary of the mixers. Things like tonic water, pop, soda, etc., are either loaded with sugar or artificial sweeteners. Both are terrible for you and how you will feel the next morning. So be a little classy. You're a near doctor now. Uh, drink a little bit better alcohol. Um, you know, you don't have to go top shelf, but something like Tito's and soda is going to be a pretty low hit from a calorie standpoint, um, not make you feel too bad the next day. Um, just doing some whiskey neat. So like a um, little Maker's Mart, swirl around, drink it slow, um, whiskey on the rocks, scotch, things like that. Uh, just keep it kind of light or make ultra, you know, that's a fitness beer. Um, you stay fairly well hydrated. It's pretty low on alcohol. Have a good time. You got a drink in your hand, but you're not out there wrecking yourself. The last thing I want to talk to you about is you're entering into medical school. This is incredibly important. It takes a lot of time. A lot of people want to be doctors. Not everyone can. So you need to really focus and put in the work there. What you're going to have to do is look at your life hard and simplify everything you can. There's going to be a couple things that really make you who you are. You need to cling on to those even at the expense of socialization, sleep, family. I don't know what they are for me. Fitness was one of them, so it kind of worked out. I would recommend working in fitness, even if it's not one, but you know, poetry is your thing, playing the violin. Cling on to those one or two things that make you you, even if you have to do them with a little bit less time you know, each day or each week, and the rest of it really get rid of. The more you can focus, the more you can simplify, the more effective you will be at medicine, and it is competitive. Depending on what residency you want to get into, you know, your scores matter. Uh, there are set board cutoffs essentially to where you're just not gonna be an orthopedic surgeon if that's your goal. So, summary points. Number one, work out effective, regular, and efficiently. Adapt it to your level of kind of stress, energy, sleep, etc. but get something done five or six days a week, even if it's 20 minutes of yoga. Number two, eat intelligently. Small balanced meals, um, avoid the big calorie loads of going out to eat often, the big waste of time. Drink alcohol somewhat moderately, and when you do drink it, drink it intelligently. And last, really focus. <laughs> Get your shit done. Um, you know, this path you took on is incredibly important and it's gonna make a huge difference in your life, but just maintain what it is you need to be you during the process. <laughs> Best of luck, y'all.